Thank you much, Peter. Much is being done in this regard in Washington State. For example, more than 1,500 adoptions are completed through BHHS every year. However, there are still more than 1,500 kids out there in our state uh, who are ready to be adopted, but still waiting to join the forever family. So there is much more yet to do. And Adoption Day reminds us of that every year. But it is also a time to celebrate the immediate joys of adoption for today, for the particular kids that are here and for their loving families. One year ago, it was my honor and privilege to preside over the adoption of an outstanding young lady named Brittany. On November 19, 2010, Brittany officially became part of the Allman family. I'm delighted that Brittany is able to come back here today and join us again this year and to have her share a little about her thoughts and experiences. I can tell you that Brittany is now 16 and a sophomore in high school. Uh, she hopes to go on in her education and maybe become a professional photographer or maybe work with kids and horses. Indeed, I believe uh, Brittany has a special friend, her horse named Darby, and I understand uh, that uh, Brittany is active in 4-H and her church. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to Brittany Allman. Brittany? Younger biological. slept in the same room. I have three younger brothers and so we all we all slept in the same bed. Um, when we did stay in one place for um, a little bit there was a lot of people that would come and go and I really didn't know who they were so I was scared that something bad was going to happen. Um, my parents would get in a lot of arguments and I was really protective of my younger brothers. <clears throat> and to um, keep them safe, I brought them in a different room so they wouldn't get hurt. Um, when the, the day we were um, taken from our family, we were told to pack as much as we could. We only had a couple minutes to do that. Um, Corey and I the oldest of the brothers, um, they were put in one car, and Alex and Aaron, the two younger ones, were put in a different car. And then they brought us to the DSHS office in Everett. Um, I'm not really sure where the youngest boy 
was my, like, her and I went to my grandma's house. Um, when, we, when we showed up to her grandma's, we only had a backpack, and we didn't really have like a toothbrush or much of other things. Um, the day after we, um, both of us, both Corey and I got the chicken pox, and it, it, it sucked. <laughs> my grandma wouldn't let, she wouldn't scratch my back. And it, it really bad. to go to counseling so we could learn how to talk about stuff and I really didn't want to do that. I, I just wanted to, I didn't want to tell anybody what happened. I didn't want to talk to anybody about it. Um, <clears throat> my parents never made me go to school so I didn't, I didn't start going to school until fourth grade so I had to learn about, I learned, had to learn how to read and how to do the basic, basics of math and it took me forever to, to read a short chapter of a book. And it, it drove me crazy. Um, After dinner, we went to their house, and we got really excited because we saw two open bedrooms, and we were saying how if we were, we were to live there, that that would be our room. Um, and we moved in a couple weeks later. something we wanted to eat and so <laughs> both Corey and I we went to the produce section we picked out bell peppers <laughs> and she wasn't she she looked at us and she, are you, she was like are you guys going to eat these the way they are and both of us were like yes it's good um, <clears throat> so my girl and I, I I visited my grandma um, last week and she was helping me come up with ideas to, to talk about but speech. And she she told me that I was so happy to have um, my own dresser and it full of my own clothes and I didn't have to share it with anybody. to hear for, from someone that you lived with for five years. Um. <laughs> and so when I went, when I was moving, I was coming over to Snohomish. My caseworker was telling me about all the animals that were at the new home, and I was, I was super excited because there was horses. Um. She also told me there was a lot of room to have fun and do stuff. And, um, I love it there. I mean, there's it's amazing. There's there's tons of fun. There's 